everyone. I'm out here on a nice rainy day. It's not it's not cold at all. Um, it's very soothing. It's a light rain, but I figured I I had to get this recording out because um like Arlo, like Arlo Monk said, if you if you have something to say, let it out. Don't keep it in. But to be honest, I don't it's it's come to the point where I don't really care if I save my videos or not. These are just simply in a way they're just video logs or just recordings of what I've what I'm coming to experience. So if I come if I come to delete a video or two, I don't I'm not really going to care because these these videos and these recordings are simply just me talking about or um, just storing information about what is spiritually happening. So, I mean, I, I've saved some videos to my computer that I've done, but you know, if for some reason YouTube, I don't know, if, if for some crazy reason YouTube gets shut, shut down or my videos get lost, it, it won't really matter because this is just simply an information storage base or this is simply just me talking about these particular experiences these spiritual experiences that I'm having. So in a way it's it's clearly it, it's this is only clearly happening to me. Um, and I don't I don't really care who views or listens to these videos. Um in a way I don't know whatever happens to me this is just it's simply a, a, a remembrance that's all it is <clears throat> but so I, I had another dream occurrence um, let's see, it's February 15th, or no, excuse me, it's March 15th, 2017. These recordings that I do are simply just, in a way, they're just diary logs, or journal, rec journal log recordings. So, to get down to it, and this is proof, this is, this is heavy proof I, I've witnessed today, at least I, I think so, because you know, I mean, I think about things that that, that, the, that the other spiritual teachers say, but it doesn't necessarily mean that I will abide by them or, in a way, religiously follow. I'm, I'm simply just listening to hearsay, 
and taking it and taking it in from there but I had remembered a video that Osaka 4 did and I remember him saying in, a, in one of his videos that he, he was basically saying that if you put out your information on a database such as the internet if you put out your precious information on the internet someone could possibly use that to their to their advantage to hurt you so that's why I said if my videos to some bizarre in some bizarre way if my videos on the internet get deleted um, I would I would not care that they're gone because that just means that you know if if an artificial entity or superficial entity were to use those videos to harm me in any way they that that archon that archon presence would not would not be able to do that or or carry out that that ben, that benevolent um, act um, if their intentions were to happen like that or to be that way so if I delete a video here or there I I do not I do not care because I simply I I do not want anything to hurt me or to harm me in any way mental mentally or physically so um so I you know I I want to make a firm confirmation a very solid foundation um, confirmation to the star seeds because um, if you if you if you if you in your heart if at all in your heart truly truly love something so dear to your heart it it will it will be with you forever it'll be within your DNA but you have to have you have to have the passion for it though that's the thing you have to really you have to really hold that strong heartfelt passion for whatever you want to think about this is key and I want to tell all of the star seeds that if you've found your star family, if you've found your galactic tribe, and you really, really, really care about them, they're they're within your DNA. They're all they will always be within your DNA because it's crystallizing. And you're placing slates there. You're placing thoughts there within your DNA. You're placing your own slate into the spine of your spiraling DNA. This is what you're doing now. If you've found your path, if you've found, if you've finally found your spiritual path that you've want to go down for so long, and that you're starting to remember again. So, the dream was, I saw Gam Keeley again, and I think now he's appeared, he has appeared in my dream, in my dream state, um, I don't know, rough, a rough estimate, probably, as far as the many times I've seen him, it's probably got to be like around seven times now, eight times now. Seven or eight times I've seen him, or six. 
I've seen him in my dream state. He's he's coming to me now. <clears throat> um, and I I truly believe that Gam Keeley has he has the strongest vibrational frequency out of all of my star family. Um, well, he's he's able to do this because he has the purest heart, I think. And I, you know, I keep seeing as a star seed, as a crystal adult, as a crystal star seed, I I keep seeing these reoccurring cinema, these movie scenes in my head. Like like there'll be like certain scenes that will play out in my head like just just out of the whim, like like I don't even have to really think about it. Like it'll just come to me. Like these movie scenes will just come in my head like like really fast and <clears throat> this is not this is not a slowed down process in any way. <laughs> I may be slow physically, but spiritually and mentally I exceed I exceed probably the speed of light or the speed of sound. Um but anyway, back to the dream. So, I've I, okay. So the scene had popped up in my head. This this mo the movie scene had showed itself to me, and I saw Gam Keeley with his little stone, and it was like it was like a piece of the Arkan stone. It was like really like it was bright, and it was really shining that pure light his his little stone that his that his mother gave to him like he's able to um he's able to focus his intent on his little stone and all of his pure heart vibration goes into that goes into his goes into his little stone and this is how powerful he is <clears throat> His vibration is so, his pure heart vibration is so powerful. Um, he's able to enter my dreams more often than, than Theta Feely or, um, <clears throat> or Thorin Ar Arkenheart. That's his last name. Because he's in a different form now, he's in a stronger. He's in a stronger state of being. So <clears throat> when when Thorin had went into into this different dimension, um, he had met an angle of light named Orophiel. And at the start of this whole journey I was drawn to um, the angle of light, um, which is known as Orophiel. It's an arc angle of light. Um, and then it became something more. It became more heartfelt. And so, and thus, my spiritual galactic tribe my galactic star family had shown themselves to me in this life. And I'm grateful that it has such a meaningful it has such a meaningful vibration to me. But anyway, <clears throat> um, so Gam Keeley had appeared in my dream again, but 
Um, and it was a sequence of fragmented uh, scenes of that dream. Because whatever you think about, whatever you project out into the universe, it's obvious that it's... We all, we all have a positive um, affirmation that this is what happens now. So, I'm sorry that I'm getting off topic about the dream, but um, whenever something comes into my mind, I have to say it. <clears throat> um, so... Something, I think something happened to where, because I'm not, I'm not fully able to be with my star family right now, because I have, I have a root chakra mission here, here on this physical earth plane. It's, it's purely physical. And is and it's low in vibration. And I I think that I think when Gamkeeli when he when he re, when he returns to the starship, um he has to you know he has to, in a way, follow the commands of what's really right for the souls down here. Um, if that makes any sense. I mean, they're, I mean, my star family is not, they're not totally exempt from using their free will, but they have to use they have to try and use the best of their of their intentions um, for the starseed souls down here that are trying to focus on their on a somewhat physical mission um, if they're trying to if they're trying to um, accomplish that mission that is in low vibration. So, all in all, your star family, your galactic family has to help with that in a way, and sometimes, sometimes they can trick you, but this, this, does, not, this does not mean that their intentions are um, bad or evil, they're just trying to get you to focus on what you're trying to do down here without without you being distracted if that makes any sense because Gam Keeley he, he had shown up in my dream again and um, he had shown these specific images to me in my dream and in a way that made me feel like like I had to think about it for a minute or two because you know that made me think of like oh well what if what if Gam Keeley is here to mislead me or what if he's here to I don't know because I've I've had dreams about him and it doesn't it doesn't seem like he he is misleading me because I've had other dreams about him but that were pure but um, in this dream he had shown me um, physical root chakra images that just had me confused um, but he was just simply told by a higher up or something that he has to try to help me to 
to not to not think about them so much by putting in these specific images in my dream. But I mean it's come down to the fact that you know, they're they're family to me. They're always going to be family. They're in my heart. They're in my DNA. But this dream was fragmented. It wasn't all. It wasn't. Is it just? It wasn't just one sequence of a dream, of one single dream. It was fragmented. Um. And I, I have to, I have to talk about this. I have to say that. So I remember, <clears throat> I remember going through this long stone hallway and I don't I don't remember if there was a light at the end or not I don't think so I think it was dark it was dark at the end um, <clears throat> but there was there was still light down there um, it was like It was like, yeah, I was walking in this square, in the squarish kind of like stone, like stony place. We were we were making our way to somewhere, and um, I I heard footsteps behind me, and this was my tribe. Um, I was walking with my tribe somewhere. And Gamkeely was by my side. Um, and I turned my head to see who was who was um, to the right of me in my dream. And I could not see his face really clear. I could not see that individual's face really clear. But I, you know, in the dream, I was not scared. I did not have that fear. Um, I did not. I did not have that emotional fear that you would get from like a nightmare or a night terror. Um, the feeling was very comforting. It had a nice comfortable feeling. I felt safe. I felt safe with Gamkeely and the others who were behind me. I, I, I had heard their footsteps. So this I I think this was my tribe, my galactic tribe, um, leading me somewhere. We were we were going somewhere, but we were in this long, we were in this stony kind of pyramid-looking place. Um, and then after that, I don't remember. I don't really remember any of the scenes after that all I remember was um, the physical root chakra scenes which were which were at my old house where I used to live as a young girl and I always I frequently always go there because that's where I feel my heart was the lightest um I don't want to keep this video too long, but I, I simply have to drop, I simply have to record this <clears throat> just so I I can come back and remember that this really happened. Um, so there were scenes of root chakra images, and there were scenes of um, naked women. Like mel like melanated naked women. Um, it seemed like they were like all across each other, like sleeping or something. I don't know, but I think someone had told Gam Keely that he needed to <clears throat> he needed to embed this in in a dream in this dream that I had with him because. <clears throat> 
they they have to help me um, draw my attention to the task on hand down here. And I I think they really did not mean to mislead me like that, but it's so that It's so that th this dream happened because, in a way, they think that by showing me these root chakra images in my dream that I would think of them otherwise. I would think of them as not being pure of heart, so, <clears throat> or something like that, something to that extent. Um... But the, I think this simply just had to happen because I, I have to focus on my physical duties down here, you know, physical body, physical body, physical duties down here, and this is, this is simply what was placed in my dream. Just so I. Just so that I, um, I would not be distracted by my galactic family so much. I would not think about them so much. But they're always going to be with me. Um. Yeah, and after I after I woken up. From the dream, I started talking. Okay, this is this is a this is a positive confirmation here. I started okay after the dream. I started talking to myself. I started talking to Gamkeeley's stone, and then right then and there, the high pitched ear sound came came to me. And this this was him communicating with me, you guys. This is crazy. I mean, this this has happened quite often to me, but I mean, I've been doubting myself. I've been doubting this phenomenon um, for the most part. I've been questioning. I've been questioning it for a while now. thinking that is this is this bullshit really real is it really happening is it really happening this way and to my heartfelt surprise as soon as i started talking to gamkeely he sent me the he sent me the high pitched ear sound like right away And I just, I started to tear up a little bit because I was doubting myself for the longest time. I was doubting, I was doubting the existence of galactic families. I was doubting the existence of just everything about the spiritual path, even though... Even though I want to be in the spiritual path, I, I am in the spiritual path. <clears throat> I am sending out thoughts and frequencies to the universe. Wondering if they're really there to help me. Wondering if they're really, really there with me. Because what I see with my two physical eyes is what is what is right here in front of me. And my third eye is, is hidden. It's supposed to be. So naturally I'm going to doubt whatever is hidden. <clears throat> because what you, see, what you see with your two physical eyes is here to fool you. For the most part. 
And I don't know if this video is going to cut out here pretty soon, but... <clears throat> crazy though like right away right away like the ear the high pitch ear sound and I can tell the difference I can tell the difference between um, two different sounding um, ear pitch frequencies because I, I had heard a different ear pitch frequency yesterday and it wasn't like it wasn't like the high pitch ear frequency that my galactic family sends me it sounded a little different <clears throat> but that the high pitch frequency noises in my ear that that they send me are a little they're a little quiet i have to i have to try and pay attention to um when when they <clears throat> when they're sending out light messages down here. <clears throat> um, so yes, it's, this is really real. This is real, guys. It's really happening. They are... I have made contact. For sure. I have made contact with my galactic family <clears throat> my star family I've been I've been in contact with them for a while but now it's just now I think it's just getting stronger and um I'm believing it more now because I don't know because today was actually like a, like a like a solid foundation confirmation that they are contacting me because 